following contest is scheduled for one fall. And from Paris, France, awesome Lady Destroyer. Handicap action coming up next, and this one likely won't be pretty, as it will be three against one. I just hope the medics are standing by, Cole, because there is no way this one ends without a few broken bones. Quite a unique match here, guys, as we're looking at a three-on-one affair coming up next. Yeah, and in the case of the one, you have to give points for bravery, though not so much for smarts. Handicap action underway here, guys. The numbers game here just isn't fair, Cole. I mean, even Saxton can see that. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, man. Over the top. And I think there's more to come, Corey. Here we go. Ooh. Victory is on the horizon. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. You gotta believe this one's over! Oh, that's unnecessary. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. What a stomp! Good grief! Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giant's opponents could be in the ring at the same time, or one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, 
There's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was the going for both. Beautiful technique. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Oh, kick to the face. Putting it all on the line. Oh, what impact. This might be it. Oh, my. What a strike. He's able to get out of the way there. I can't imagine what he has here. Over the top rope. Oh, I don't think he's done. On the move. About to take off. Harsh impact. Oh, it's over. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She's starting to feel the pressure. Uh, I can tell you this is not how she envisioned this match going, guys. I'm not ready to write her off yet, guys. Look at the look on her face. Wow. She may be in agony, but I don't expect her to roll over. Not now, not ever. I don't care what the match stipulations are. Well, she really can't afford to take on too much more damage and Jeez. still be able to execute effectively in there. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring in handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Oh! Russian leg sweep. Oh, come on! How can this be legal? This could lead to a disqualification, quick. And she's back in the ring now. Looking for the win. Oh, what impact. That's all she wrote, fellas. Two, three. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Well, the numbers don't always tell the story in a handicap match. Here's another look. She proves she has what it takes to be one of the best in the business. Here is your winner, awesome Lady Destroyer. What an effort here in this handicap match. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor short.